I got a text last year, Saturday morning, saying, Spratty, Scotty, can we have an interview with you tomorrow at 11.50 after race two about the feature races? Have you won a guineas before? No, I don't think I have, and yeah, but not really a hope. Then I replied, one starts from the car park and favourites are drawn one and two, no hope, and the other one I think will go too hard for 3,200 metres. Ha ha ha. Good judge I am. In the lineup and has a halo bolted in. Sam Spratt's going to do again. It's everlasting. It's Gobstopper. What a 5 4. And what a day that was for Samantha Spratt at uh, Rickerton Park. I think I've been stitched up here somewhere, or you have been, uh, Sam, joining you off the back of not tipping those two. Uh, looking forward to your rides at Ellerslie today, I'm sure. Yep, no, I think it pretty much just says, just don't listen to me. <laughs> well, certainly not on that day has a halo stormed home to win the guineas, of course, and Gobstopper did it from uh, the top end. Uh, Ellerslie, tell me about uh, this venue, surely one of your favourites. Yeah, it is. It's um, you know, it's a great venue. It's um, big track. You can pretty much come from anywhere. It gives every everyone an opportunity. Um, you know, on the bigger days, you get the crowds, and uh, no, nah, it's definitely it's definitely got a hype about it that um, you know, you can't beat. Let's focus in on uh, three of your decent rides there today. Ricky Ticky Tavi in race number five uh, likes this place, has won three, takes on a pretty good field here, uh, Sam, with, of course, a Guineas winner in Media Sensation. We've just spoken to Jamie Richards about his newcomer in King's Guard. There's been money for Strato Caster. Uh, and Yearn is a pretty talented horse. Here's Ricky Ticky Tavi finishing second last time. Uh, does drop in weight, uh, should be suited, one would think. Yeah, no, he, um, you know, she definitely will be. I remember going down by nose up at Royal Car Corner in a pretty, you know, not a bad field and definitely can run. Um, it was a nice run last time. I think possibly the track might have just caught her up a little bit. It looked like she was going to burst through and was almost trying to, but um, I think that heavy track might have just tied her up a little bit. But, hey, got a decent draw. Comes in with not much weight. It would have to be a big show. I mean, it's the immediate sensation, you know, could be, you know, you'd think would be the, the one to beat. But, um no, I definitely think she'll be having them a run for their money. Of course, the Gibbs Bradley team uh, racing so very well, both sides of the Tasman. Let's have a look at race number eight for you, uh, Sam. And uh, this field uh, features Tight Line, who you do ride, who's in good form, only goes up marginally in weight from the performance at Tauranga, where Craig Grills was on, uh, and did set bolted in on that occasion. Uh, of course, uh, Tight Line is well in the market and should be on that performance. Uh, trained by Stephen Marsh, and I'm sure we'll give you a great ride today. Yeah, we can't really not perform. I mean, it's had pretty consistent form in every start. I mean, uh, two starts ago was at LZ as well on that heavy track that I think probably really just tripped her up, um, him up. But, um, oh, I mean, it's been knocking on the door on every every start, not one. And um, so, you know, you really think we have to... It's drawn out wide, but I don't think that will worry too much. It looks like we get back a little bit anyway. But, um, no, I think she's definitely going to be storming home, that's for sure. Sam, drawn out a wee bit, 10 of 10. Is that a concern at the start point, 1,600 start point there at Ellerslie? No, not at all. That bit start, you've got the whole way down the back to, um, to sort it out. To be fair, I sort of almost like being drawn out wide um, in that mile start or a lot of mile starts because it just gives you more time to um, you know, get your bearings and get yourself together. I mean, even if you're going forward and you're drawn inside, you've got to really ride them hard, whereas if you're drawn out, you can just take your time a little bit more, and um, so no, I don't think it's any worry whatsoever. Got about, I don't know how long the back straight is, but a long way anyway to sort yourself out, so no, I don't think it worry us at all. Running man, your ride in the last, uh, built nicely to that win last time, and should be able to bounce off that. Um, what are your expectations uh, in the last? It's currently sevens and $2.30. Yeah, he won really nicely last start. I was sort of, um, you know, bullishly sort of com confident going into it. Um, he sort of got his two bits out before that start sort of thing, so he was two stone lighter. But, um, and he sort of, he kept knocking on the door, but I think he was just thinking about that more than actually what his job was. And, um, he, you know, he did really well, I thought, his last start. Um, I think he's still got plenty of improvement. He still races sort of fairly green, but um, I think he's, uh, you know, definitely an up-and-comer, that's for sure. He's a lovely horse and um, takes it all in his stride. So he's drawn out as well, but... 
going to worry him too much. Um, he can get back. He can still him home as well, so he can get back. If, um, you know, there's a little bit of pace in that race, so he'll probably get back and um, just get out and run home. As said, Alice, you know, it's quite an easy. You can do that. You've got plenty of time to do that. So um, at the same time, you know, he can race handy, but I think he will be um, probably off the pace a little bit and try and get, get some cover. Sam, you've got uh, a strong book of rides, uh, many of them for Stephen McKee, as we see on screen, Magic of the Sun. What about Might, one we haven't seen? Um, what are your expectations there? And the Son of Power has been a trial winner. Yeah, he has. He, um, no, he won a nice, nice last uh, um, nice trial. Uh, his first trial, he was good. He was just still very green, um, but it was a big improvement on his next trial. He's a lovely horse. Whether it's probably he's going to be a bit better a little bit later on um, once he sort of puts it all together and gets up over a little bit more of a trip but he um, you know he's a lovely horse really cruisy so um, no I expect a bold run but I mean first time for the races LSE it's a big open track uh, it's going to be a big eye opener for him when you've got you with um, race day form that are going to know what it's all about he's drawn out as well which is an ideal um, helps if you sort of got a rail to follow with, um, with the two year olds but no, I definitely think he's a nice horse and he's, he's only going to be on the improvement, that's for sure. Sam, thanks so much for your time. You're currently fourth favourite, getting the drifts, 5 dollars out to $7 for an informed jockey. Uh, thanks again and uh, we wish you all the best for today. No, thank you very much.